Question eight, sketch the graphs of the following for zero less or equal to X less or equal to 360. Now you should always be paying attention to the interval given. When the interval is given in degrees, you must operate in degrees and you must not sketch outside the interval. Two things there. You have an interval, you must sketch within the interval. And then if they are in degrees, your answers must be responding in degrees, not in radians. So we are sketching one, y is equal to negative cos x. Now here, we gave a general statement last time, we said for any function of sine and cosine, Mm-hmm. So we gave a general statement to say for any function of sine and cosine, if we are dealing with cos, it must come in the form. Okay. Yeah, that's what is that's cos? It. Yeah, this is question eight. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. One eight and one zero seven. Okay. So when you have such a thing, we say the amplitude is the modulus of a. The period is two pi divided by B. And then the first shifts vertical, they come from the properties here. Horizontal shift, you say X is equal to negative C over B and the vertical shift is D. The important thing when you're asked to sketch is to get the scale, which is said it's the period divided by four because there are four critical points away from the origin that your graph will have to go through. So the question says sketch. It does not require the properties, amplitude, horizontal shift or phase or vertical shift. If they ask them, we can give them, but they are saying sketch. So we'll just get the period that we use to sketch that is two pi over B, B in this case, B is a coefficient of X, but in this case, B is just one. So we get two pi, and then we'll get the, the scale, which is the period over four. So we have two pi over four, giving us pi over two. If I have the scale, then I can sketch. So, we we'll have the sketch from here. The scale helps us to arrange the important numbers while the graph will pass through. So from zero, the next thing is you add zero plus the scale. So zero plus pi over two. Remember, since you are dealing with degrees, I must say this is 360. And this is nine. So that from zero, we add 90. 90, we add 90. 180, we add 90. 270, we add 90. Now we cannot go beyond 360 because the interval says from zero to 360. Then these important numbers, we solve for the function at each of those numbers. So what is negative cos zero? This is, cos zero is one, so we get negative one. So we have negative one. So we have a point, zero comma negative one. What is 
negative cos 90. Cos 90 is zero and negative zero is zero. So we get 90 comma zero. And what is negative cos 180? Cos 180 is negative one. So negative times negative one, we get one. So we have a point there. And then what is y when x is 270? Now cos 270 is zero, negative zero is zero. So we have another point, 270 comma zero. What is y when x is 360? Cos 360 is one, so we get negative one. And so we have the point at 360 comma negative one. So the graph will go through these points. Like that. So that is the graph of f of x. I mean, that is the graph of y is equal to negative cos x. Notice what I need when I'm sketching the period and the scale. Then I can have the sketch. The amplitude, the shifts, my solving here will do everything for me. This method is nice because it does not allow you to memorize anything. You work out things. So we'll do one more from question eight, the one that we have combined shifts and for sign now. So we'll do part four. Part four of question eight y is equal to two sine x plus 60. Since we're just sketching, we just need the period, two pi over one. Uh, so I like it in pi forms, but this is supposed to be in degrees. So 360 over one, which is equal to 360. And then the scale, 360 over four, again, giving us 90. So we'll have the sketch. So now we have a shift there. We have a shift, X plus 60 is giving us the horizontal shift. So this means x is equal to negative 60. So the shift is negative 60, meaning you're moving 60 steps to the left. So what it is is, instead of having zero as your first number, you have zero plus negative 60, meaning we're supposed to start from negative 60 there, but it falls outside the interval. So have no option but to include zero. But from zero, we want to move to 90. Instead, we will start from the shift, adding our scale so that we have negative 60 plus 90, 30. So our scale will be adding. Now from 30, you add 90, you have 90 plus, 30, that is 120, plus 90, that is 210, plus 90, um, that is 290, I mean, that is 300, 300 plus 90, it will go beyond 360, so I have no option but to use 360. So now we are using the numbers that you have found in our solving. 
So we have y is equal to two sine zero plus 60. How are you getting the scale? You get the scale by dividing the period by four. And since our period is 360, we divide it by four. 360 by four, we get 90. Okay. Then, so when it is zero, we get two sine 60, but sine 60 is root three over two. So all together we get root three. So at zero, we have at zero, we have a very small number, which is root three. Root three. And then y is equal to two sine. We now go to 30. 30 plus 60. This is 2 sine 90, but sine 90 is 0. So 2 by 0, I mean sine 90 is 1, sorry. So 2 by 1, we get 2. So at 30, we'll get 2. So we have a point there. What is y when x is 120. So 120 plus 60, we are getting two sine 180. Sine 180 is zero. So two by zero, we get zero. So we come down, we have a point there. Then y is two sine 210. Sine 210 plus 60, that is two sine 270. So sine 270 is negative one. So we have two by negative one, which is negative two. So we get negative two there at two ten. Then y is equal to two sine 310 plus 60. I mean 310 plus or 300. 300 plus 60, so this is 300 here. 300 plus 60, we are getting two sine 360, but sine 360 is zero. So two by zero is zero. So we have a point there. And then y is equal to two sine 360 plus uh, sine 360 plus, plus 60. This will give us sine four. This will give us two sine 360 plus 60, that is 420. Now, when we go beyond getting sine 360 plus any other angle is the same as getting sine 60 itself because 360, that's a, a full circle. And then you add 60 more. So this angle is coterminal to 60. So they give us the same value. So we're just dealing with the same thing, but sine 60 is root three over two. So we are getting root three. And so we have root three. Um, we have root three somewhere here. So a zero also gave us root three. Okay. And then we can have our sketch. So start from here, go up and down. All the way up the point, go back. So we are going this direction. So that is our sketch.
Hussein. So that's how we do that one. So we go to question nine. Is also another sketch, but a different interval. So to appreciate the intervals, we'll do question nine and we are sketching from negative 180 all the way up to 180. So here we'll sketch, we can sketch, maybe we sketch part two first. where we have also a vertical shift. That is y is equal to one plus three cos 90 degrees minus x. So if you, if you look at how it is, you can see that it's not in the standard form. The standard form is this one here. So this means that we have to rewrite it. So it will be three cos negative x plus 90 degrees plus one. We have some work to do inside here. The B is always supposed to be positive so that it gives us a positive period. So you would factor out, so we have cos, you factor out a negative, and then you have x minus 90 degrees, and then plus one. Now the nature of cos, we agreed that day that the nature of cos is an even function, so it, it's able to neutralize the negative, so that this guy can just look just like that. So the negative is trying to go out, then cos has taken care of it, just swallowed it up. So we've remained with this as a function. So now we can get the period, which is two pi over one, giving us two pi. So now we're still dealing with degrees. So it's 360 over one, which is 360. So the only thing that is remaining now for us to start sketching is a scale. The scale is period over four, which is 360 over four, which is 90. So we've been dealing with the same scale, which does not mean that it always is the same scale. Scales can differ. And then you have x minus 90 giving us a horizontal shift. So we get this to zero so that we get x is equal to 90. So 90 to the right is our shift. So when we sketch, so when we sketch, we have zero, so we're supposed to start from zero plus 90, since we have a shift of that nature. When you add another 90, you got 180. But you must not go beyond 180 because the interval restricts us to end at 180. The interval has also a negative part. So you use the same scale in the negative direction. So now you get y. 1 plus 3 cos 90 minus, so we start from negative 180. This is 1 plus, uh, 3 cos 90 plus 180, that is 270, giving us cos 270 is um, zero. 
So we'll get one here. Yeah? So we'll have a one. We're getting a one there. And then y is one plus three cos. So now I want to use this one. So that you see that it's just the same thing. So one plus three cos x, which is negative 90 minus 90. So we'll be getting one plus three cos negative 180. But cos negative 180 is the same as cos 180 which gives us negative one. And so we get one minus three, which is negative two. So we have a negative two here. And then y is equal to three cos x is zero minus 90 plus one, this is three cos 90 plus one, but cos 90 is zero, so we get a one. So we have a one here, and then get y is equal to three cos 90 minus 90, plus one, 90 minus 90 is zero, but cos zero is one, so we get three plus one, which is four. So we get 90 comma four, somewhere up there. And then the last one will be at 180, three cos 180, um, One eighty minus ninety plus one. That is three cos ninety plus one. But cos ninety is zero, so we get one. So now we can have our sketch. So from there, come down here. Pose up. Up. Comes down. Ends there. This was part two of question nine. Now we've done sine, we've done cos, shifted sine, shifted cos. Now we can do part four, which has tan. Part four with y. Part four with y is equal to Tan x plus sixty. Uh, is it, is it possible to bring back the previous working? If you need it, yes. Okay, sir. All right. So. When you are sketching tan, we must understand that um, this can be written as sine x plus 60 over cos x plus 60. If you don't understand angles very well, you can also approach it from this direction where you'll be dealing with sine and cos. If you understand angles very well, you go straight to tan x plus 60. So now I want to sketch this. Now, one thing you must note is that tan, the period of tan is not as a period of cos. The period of, of, of tan is just 180 over two, giving us 90, okay? So I'm not necessarily this, so I mean 180 over B. So in this case, we have 180 over one, 
giving us 180. So what we mean is that tan will be complete in between a zero and 180. Because initially, if I have no shifts, I'll have zero, I'll have 90 and 180. So one thing you note is that since tan, since tan is sine over cos and cos is zero at 90, you discover that tan 90 is sine 90 over cos 90. Sine 90 is one, but cos 90 is zero. So it's undefined there. So what happens is that if we have 90 here negative and negative 180 here, we draw sign, we draw lines on the on the 90, on the 90, and sketch because at zero, tan zero will be sine zero over cos zero, but sine zero is zero, cos zero is one, so this is zero. So the graph of tan is defined at zero, like that. And then it comes down like that. So it uses the amplitude to just tell us where it will start caving going down and caving going up like that. So now when your graph has got shifts for tan, it may not be nice to start calculating the way we calculate for sine and cos. For tan, if I have the original one like this, and I understand that I have a shift x plus 60, which is the horizontal shift, giving us x is equal to negative 60. I'm just moving all my asymptotes by negative 60. So instead of having it at 90, I'll have it at negative 90 minus 60. So negative 90 minus 60, this will be negative 150. So I'll have this, this asymptote at negative 150 somewhere here. That's where I will have the asymptote. And then the zero will come to negative 60. This will be the zero now, negative 60. And then the 90, will come to 90 minus 60, it will come to 30, another asymptote like that. So the dotted lines, dotted lines is where tan fails to be defined because of the zero in the denominator. So you put dotted lines, that thing we used to call vertical asymptotes when you're doing normal functions. It has come back for tan, for sec, for cosec, because whenever we have one over zero, it's undefined. So the function then have that in its domain. So in the domain of tan, there's no 90, because cos 90 gives us a zero in the germinator. So we have undefined things. So just put that line to show that we'll never get anything when we use these angles. So now that we've moved our graph in that way, it will mean that our sketch is no longer the black one, but our sketch in this interval will be, will be, I'm oh, sorry. So it has to come like that, hit here, go down. So I'm now dealing with the red, and the blue line. So the black one is gone. That's for the original tan without shifts. Now I'm dealing with my question, which has a shift y is equal to tan x plus 60. Now this graph must be sketched outside. It must reach 180. So now notice that the space that is remaining outside here is very small. So at that point, I'll have less information. The only thing I know is that tan is still forming up somewhere there. So to just hang at 180 and at 180. Then to the right, I have a space from 
180 all the way up to all the way up to 30. We said this is 30 here. We said this is 30. So we have enough space there. If we add 30 plus 60, we get to, I mean 30 plus um plus our scale. In case, okay, here you didn't even get the scale, so it's all right. The scale for time is not very important. If it was, would have used it, but I'm avoiding to do the calculations of time. So now we have that spacing there. So from 180, we subtract again 60. So 180 minus 60, we get 120. So somewhere here, we have 120. Now 180, 180 is not an asymptote for time. What happens is this, y, uh, okay, we can't finish this question, it's almost zero, zero out of the 40. So let's get back, you log out and log back as it cuts, and then we'll have, we'll have to do this question so that we can finish it well, because it's the only time question that we have in the tutorial sheet.